country and on MSNBC. It'd be helpful, Charles, if during the commercial for the Ben Benson Steakhouse, you didn't mumble all the way through to old Ben. I don't think time. I was mumbling all the yeah. way through old Ben. Anyway, I was just telling Charles, I was, uh, Charles played the piano about uh, 45 minutes ago, and it was great. Thank you. Should be, uh, you should feel good about it. You should be proud I do, of yourself. I do. I do. Absolutely. I was saying, besides Rosa Antonelli, the piano teacher, and she's a professional, accomplished pianist, um, and she records, she has CDs, and she has that, that Chopin pieces on hers, too. Mm -hmm. Her, she and Charles, I mean, I've heard other people play, and they can't play it. I mean, it's a very, very difficult piece to pet, play. Yeah. I have Van Cleburne's on my iPod. That's it's a little too aggressive for me. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, but it's a nice rendition. Yeah, it certainly is. I'm very proud of you, Charles. Thank you very much. We'll get to the Here news in a second, but you have this book you want to mention? Yes, I wanted to mention this amazing uh, children's book, The Boy of Steel right. by uh, Ray Negron. He's an assistant to George Steinbrenner. Right. Um, <laughs> when I read it, I read it to Wyatt. You, were, you saw that in Connecticut. We're sitting there on the sofa, and I cried reading it to him. Right. Um, this boy, uh, Michael Steele, he died three years ago. I don't ago. remember you crying. You were crying? I was crying. You were crying? Yes. All right. What do you mean you don't remember me well, crying? I don't remember you crying. You just, I mean, you did, well, yeah. you weren't paying attention then because you were watching the tennis or something. Well, no, I was trying to watch Ohio State and Texas. But so you didn't mind. But I, I read this to Wyatt sitting there on the sofa with you in that your chair that you sit in. That'll be fine. Go and, ahead. Um, it, partly, I think it got to me, but I think anyone who reads this, it will because this little boy had cancer. He was six years old. He died three years ago. Is this a true story? True story. Oh, it is a true story. Um, Ray Negron took him on and brought him to Yankee Stadium, and um, he became a bat boy. Right. Wyatt was fascinated by that. Remember, he was asking questions about a bat boy and all, all the pictures in here. But um, it's a story of him, his dream come true, and Robinson Cano, is that how you say his name, the second is that right, Chris? baseman yeah. from yeah. Uh, the Yankees. Right. He, um, you know Chris Gordon. Do you like Chris? I love Chris. Yeah. I love Chris. Oh, you do? Oh, thank yes. you. Okay. He's a, he's adorable. Want to sleep with him too, or? I never said I wanted to sleep with any of these men. Well, I mean, the implication is, isn't it, Charles? No. Why what can't do you, you mean? That's a pretty uh, horrible thing to say. You want to sleep with him too? Why can't you what compliment? What are you accusing your wife of being? Why can't for I God's compliment sake? a man or like Joel? I said he's a he's a very handsome, he is. attractive. Yes, Joel is he's, he's, Look at him. You know? Talk about a guy who's in shape. He's a hunk. But then, am I going to say, "Oh yeah, I'm going to go sleep with him, honey"? I, I don't mean, know. I just... it doesn't really work that way unless you're a sleaze bag. Like, oh, could, I'm sorry. Could you Chris, say that playing... again, real slow and low? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were you talking well, about? Like you're always complimenting Amy, how beautiful she is, and I agree, she's beautiful. But, but do I have to interpret that then? You want to sleep with her? Well, no, yes. of course not. <laughs> she's, I, I could adopt her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like he adopted you. Yeah. Um, I guess if I had a different personality, you could assume that. But no, no, no. Well, fine. But, anyway, uh, the boy okay. of steel. Um, also, they're giving 100% of the money to charity to right. the Steinbrenner Yankee Foundation. 40% of those profits will go to the Imus Ranch and the Tomorrow's Children's Fund oh, okay. for well, cancer. Nice. Okay. Um, but more importantly, the, I think it's just a beautiful story that all children should read. Um, and of course, we see all these kids at the ranch. and. Um, when you get to the end of the story where he's the bat boy and he sees Robinson Cano coming into home plate and he's trying to get the bat out of the way and right. he can't do it because he falls and I, I don't know. It's, I mean, we see these kids at the ranch like that. So you're not going to make me cry right now, are you? <laughs> no, no. Stop I, looking. So I, it, I, I, I when, not, when I read not, it, it just no, seemed now I'm not. <laughs> too familiar um, no, I know. I, I, of a story. And it's a true story, but it's beautiful. <laughs> So, so they're available at bookstores everywhere? Yes. What's it called? The, man, the Boy of the Steel. The Boy of Steel. Okay. Well, um, Steinbrenner is pretty nice, but nice to the ranch. Mm hmm. Very supportive. People, so. So. All right, honey. Well, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Thank What's you. Around? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want me to green something or clean something or polish something? Yeah. No, well, I don't know. I got a blue dress <laughs> you can wash. Shine it. It's 10 minutes after they are. <laughs> You're on the ice in the morning program. It's gone. Oh, it's time for a little news. And here with that is Charles McCoy. Good morning, Chuck. <laughs> Good morning, Iron Man. <laughs> polish something? What are you? I will uh, polish something. Not good, 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 good. Rub on something. I just going over to hospital. Charles <laughs> <laughs> just threw the news. Okay, I, I will. I know. I, I mean, it's just choke a, something. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, this is really. This, this is, is humiliating. This is not good. <clears throat> everything was going attack. fine. Yeah. 
Morning, Charles. <laughs> Good morning. Don't look at the Howling for crying out loud. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, I man. Uh, there is uh, there, nothing laughable or amusing out of Iraq again today, where now car bomb. The evening, maybe a nightcap. No, well, that is not going to happen. <laughs> But, I am uh, jacked up. It's going to be a great day in New Hampshire. Last time I was there, I, I waited till I got off the air the, the day we broadcast from the tour of the track. But uh, there's still a lot to see. You know, you can see why people go to these NASCAR races. I mean, one, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a, just a oh, huge spectacle. It's unbelievable. And yeah. to see all those big semis, it's just, well, there's 43 of them. <laughs> yeah. And they're all lined up there, and they're, all, they're painted the colors of the cars. Oh, God, it's just... The drivers are all jerks, but uh, a couple of them are okay, but most of them are, you know, just uh, well, toothless goobers who you just don't want to have to deal with. So we don't deal with them. Exactly. We don't have to deal no, with them. No, you don't have to. You don't. We don't have to talk to them or anything else. We, no. like, we like NASCAR, and uh, it's a lot of fun. What, what's, what race is that? It's the first race in the chase, right? It is the first race in the chase. The We just got back from vacation. At a rest area, 500. <laughs> uh, you'll have to answer for a lot of that. As long as you're here, you want to do sports? Why not? Why not, my friend? Plenty of baseball from yesterday. All kinds of races going on all over baseball. The wild card getting interesting in the National League. The Phillies trail the Padres by a game and a half. Phillies swept a doubleheader from the Braves yesterday, 6-5 and 7-2. The Giants are now two and a half behind as well. The Giants lost to the Rockies yesterday, 9-8, despite Barry Bonds hitting his 732nd home run. Padres 10 nothing over the Reds yesterday as well. And they also trailed the Dodgers by a game and a half in the National League West. Dodgers beat the Cubs yesterday 6 to nothing. Over in the American League, it was the Tigers falling to the Rangers 11 to 3 and the A's beat the Twins 1 nothing. The Twins also lost Francisco Liriano just back from injury. Well, he went down again. Third injury left the or third inning left the game with an elbow injury. He appears to be done for the season. And the White Sox 9-0 winners over the Angels last night. So the White Sox right now trail Minnesota by a game and a half. Minnesota trails the Tigers by a game and a half in the American League Central. Big golf tournament coming up on uh, big golf not tournament. Uh, event. Big golf event on yeah. Monday. Uh, the North Fork Bank Cox Classic out at Fiddler's Elbow in New Jersey in which uh, Mad Dog Russo and Joe Benigno will take on Mike Lupica and um, Phil Sims. Now, uh, Francesa, uh, this horrible operation on his knee, I saw the scar. The scar is almost 18 inches. 18 Good inches. Grief. So uh, a couple of people said to me, because uh, they think I'm the only one who can talk to Mike, to get him to do anything, which is not true, by the way. I mean, I love the guy, but. He's a very generous guy. Come on. Oh, he's a great guy. Yes. But he's, uh, he's pushing himself. Because he thinks he has to do all these shows. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's not much I can tell him. I did, one, I did a show one time with a collapsed lung, so uh, to try to get him to stay home. But anyway, he can't play. That's the point. So, uh, and then Mad Dog starts. And this is to raise money for kids with cancer, for, 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 uh, to help in research and so on for the sudden infant death syndrome. And for... Uh, uh, the Tomorrow's Children's Fund and, and the ranch. And Mad Dog right away starts in on me about wanting uh, Sims and Lupica uh, and my, they're my team to give a stroke to them per hole. They're going to play the 17th and 18th out to Fiddler's Elbow. Well, aren't, and oh, I, come and on. I'm, what I'm wondering is why can't we be a man about this if you're, if you're Russo and Benigno's willing to play straight up and just, just play. I mean... First of all, Lupica is gravely injured. I was say, you got you got guy, two guys who are lame on. The he probably will be, he probably will be brought to the uh, event in an ambulance, in a work in progress. Uh, but they update the news enough so I can see it and so on. But I, I did notice that y'all uh, had Tucker on. That did he get voted off last night? He did. Good. He was voted off, and uh, he he had a good banter with the judges, though. I thought that was his uh, saving grace. He had some funny lines to say because the judges didn't like him so much. Right? Why? He just was, was he awful? Or? He danced probably. Well, can you dance? No. Okay. Well, he probably danced a lot like you. Yeah, but I wouldn't dance. See, <laughs> I, I recognized judgment. I can't. So, 
Uh, well, what's coming up this morning? Oh, horrible we're, stuff, right? <laughs> we're going to be talking about polls. A new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll out showing what voters are most concerned about as we uh, near the midterm elections. Iraq, of course, topping that list. 27% of people saying that's the most important topic. But here's an interesting one. Uh, most important topic in terms of how they're going to vote? Exactly. Oh, really? Right. Priorities for the November election was specifically the topic. And uh, gas prices and the economy. 23%, uh, and that's good news for some of the GOP incumbents and for President Bush because uh, gas prices have dropped significantly. Is it 42 cents just in the past month? Mm -hmm. So the timing is uh, excellent for Republicans in that sense. And the uh, president actually saw his approval rating go up by three percentage points from what? July to 42% now. Wow. Uh, where does immigration come in on all this? Uh, I know that the GOP, uh, they're actually meeting today. The House uh, Republicans are looking to try and push uh, a bill to say they're getting tough. They want to build that 700-mile wall along the border. But I don't know if we actually asked that question in the poll because we're sp specifying gas prices and terror, obviously, as the two big topics. Well, if immigration was up there, it, it wasn't high on the list. Remember everybody? I mean, what, uh, was maybe during the summer, so everybody screaming about immigration. And now yep. Yep. No, they don't even ask him. Well, it's a it's it's a it's a contentious issue. It's a divisive yeah. issue. So I don't think that the Republicans want to push them looking soft that they're allowing you know any type of worker uh, visas coming over to the uh, states. I don't think a lot of people would be supportive of that. So they're concerned. So you're musical, right? Musically inclined, sure, okay. but not like Charles. How did you think he did? He was fantastic. He was good, wasn't he? He was fantastic. Bless you. Were you surprised? <laughs> I, I thought I figured if he was going to come on here and he was going to play something uh, as difficult as that, he had to be good. Okay. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Amy Roback at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on MSNBC with all that and a lot more. It's 28 after the hour. My judgment is you cannot enforce the border without having a temporary guest worker program. The two go hand in hand. There are people doing jobs Americans will not do. Many people who've come into our country are helping our economy grow. It's just a fact of life. I'm a sin the morning.